for those of you who remember what cassette tapes are and the sound that they make when they uh, when they run out of batteries or bust down and failing. That's what we're gonna recreate, recreate here. Um, and we've got a couple different options for you. Tried and true, we're gonna try it in Premiere. We're gonna do it in Premiere. We're gonna do it in After Effects. And then finally in Audition. You can take your pick, whichever one uh, you like the best. They've each got pros and cons, and I'll go through those. So here we go, we'll, we'll start out in Premiere. So whichever video or audio file you want it, bring in, you just drop that in and create a new timeline from there. Anyway, delete that. You are going to show clip keyframes, time remapping, speed. All right, so now that we have our time remapping um, rubber bands showing on our clip, control and left click to create a point at which um, your, your media, your footage will start slowing down. Uh, and drag that keyframe out so you have a slow, some sort of slowdown on that. And then now for your audio, we're gonna do a pitch shift. So in effects, under audio effects, time and pitch, pitch shifter. Just drop that down onto your audio track. Under effects controls, pitch shifter, individual parameters, transpose. Starting about uh, where your, your footage slowdown begins. Move to there, move the keyframe to the start of your footage slowdown. And then about the end of your footage slowdown, you're gonna wanna take that value and drop it to something like that. So as low as you can go, 0.5 is, like 0.5 is the lowest I can go there. Uh, and then when it plays back, So, that's how you do it in Premiere. The pro on this one is that uh, it's super easy to just fire fire up Premiere, and you, I mean, you're gonna, already gonna be in, editing in Premiere anyway. Whatever, it's just easy access on your timeline. The setback to using it in Premiere, though, is um, that it's a, it's a little bit more involved than After Effects. And uh, it's not quite, I, I think it's not, quite as convincing as um, Audition. So that said, we'll open up After Effects, drop that same media in, double click L, that way we can see our audio waveform. So right click on your layer in the timeline pane, the time option, we are going to enable time remapping. So you have set, I've set a keyframe, making sure not to move it after I've set it here where I want the slowdown to begin, and then I move the current time indicator or the playhead um, to where I want the slowdown to have finished. And I make sure to add another keyframe. And then now, disregarding the, the remaining audio on my clip here, I'll move this out, say, to twice the distance it was from this original keyframe. So it was here, now it's double that distance. And that sounds like this. Something like that. Well, the downside to doing it in After Effects is you have to open After Effects, uh, do the thing, and um, then export it out. The advantage is that it's two keyframes and it's done. Um, After Effects apparently can handle <laughs> handle changing the audio uh, along with the video, uh, whereas Premiere can't. All right, and finally, Audition. Okay, so with your audio loaded up, here is a little different. We aren't setting the keyframes first. Um, they kind of set themselves based on your selection. So here is, where I want the slowdown to occur over this duration of time. And under effects, time and pitch. Pitch bender, I'm using pitch bender today here in this tutorial because um, it has 
a built-in preset for us. Turntable losing power, which is uh, basically what we're looking for. So you can see it's created our keyframes and set them up perfectly to create that slow down sound. And that sounds like this. All right, guys, that is um, a real, 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 real quick tutorial. Hopefully it helped you. If you are looking for that tape slowdown effect in uh, Adobe products, you got Premiere, After Effects, and Audition uh, to play around with and create that effect. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. And um, please uh, like, subscribe, and share. Bye.